seven more great uses for Evernote. That's what we're talking about today. Hi, this is Frank Buck, and this is the place to be if you want to get organized and make it look easy. Curious about how Evernote can help you? We'll start by reading the last post, Seven Great Uses for Evernote, or watch the video. You'll learn seven ways Evernote can work for you. If you already saw that post, if you already watched that video and you're looking for more, today's content, Seven More Great Uses for Evernote, is for you. Some people don't get Evernote at first. I didn't. And often the best way to describe something is to give people examples and then let them jump in. Through experimentation, you find ways to make a tool work for you. If you found something in last week's content that you like and you're using, I'd love to hear about it. Leave a comment on the blog post or in the YouTube channel comments from last week. If you want to get rid of paper, and keep your receipts digitally, well, Evernote's the way to go, and that's our first use that we'll talk about today. When a receipt arrives in your email, forward it to Evernote if you have a paid account. And if you use the free account, then use the Evernote Web Clipper to save the receipt. If you have a paper receipt, open Evernote on your phone and snap a photo. You have, in essence, just scanned that document. The great thing about saving receipts in Evernote is the variety of ways in which you can search for it. In this example, I could search for Mama, Trustful, The Date, or even the amount, $10. Evernote reads text from scanned paper or even photos. You can also access this information from anywhere. Next is ordering information. When you place an order online, use the Evernote Web Clipper. Take a screenshot of the area that has your order, total, confirmation, and expected delivery. Put a task in your digital to-do list to remind yourself on the appropriate date to look for your package. And every Evernote note has its own link, so you can grab that link and put it into that task so that when you go to, uh, you know, research where that package might be, when you see the task on your list, you have a link that's going to take you right back to all the information in Evernote. You have instant access to everything you need. The next one is writing a book. Create a notebook for the project. Create a note for each chapter. Add thoughts. Copy and paste quotes from other sources. Add links to web pages and attach documents. Evernote can serve as your outline for every part of the book preparation. Next is articles to read later. Use the Web Clipper to put an entire web page into Evernote for later reference. You can also drag a PDF or Word document into a note. Our next use is meeting notes. Create a new note at the start of a meeting. Evernote now includes a task feature, allowing you to add to-dos related to that meeting right there in the body of the note. Those tasks are aggregated in one place where you'll be able to see all of your tasks across all of your projects. And with a paid plan, you can add due dates to designate dates due in the future. After the meeting, you can share the note with other people. And if you want to make additions to the meeting notes, the link will always take people to the latest version. If you already use a digital task list, a great service called Task Clone takes your to-dos that you mark and automatically puts them on your task list. Our next use is automobile records. Outside of your house, your automobile is probably the largest single purchase that you have. Create a notebook called Automobile. Create a note for each car in the household with all of the purchase information. For each car, include where you bought it, when, the name of the salesman, the amount, the VIN number, the keyless entry code, and the license plate number. Each time you take a car for service, create a new note detailing the service done. You have a wealth of information about your family automobiles from anywhere you are. 
Here's one from a trip I took. When I arrived back to the airport after a winter trip, I found myself with a dead battery. Well, I created a note in Evernote to document all of the information. And the last one to share with you today is planning a project. Depending on the size of the project, create a note or create an entire notebook. Outline your thoughts. Snap photos and save those inside the notes. Attach digital documents and spreadsheets. Add arrows and circles and text blocks as annotations in your attachments. Forward emails about the project into Evernote. Detailed to-dos. You can keep all of your project plans in one place. The best way to learn Evernote is to jump in with both feet. Now that you have some more examples of how to use Evernote, you can really start to make it your own. And the more you use it, the easier it becomes. And the more uses you'll find that work for you. In your browser, go here and create your account today. Hey, if you like this video, how about giving it a thumbs up and take a look at these two videos right over here and consider subscribing to the channel for more videos. This has been Frank Buck, helping you get organized and make it look easy.